Okay, so good morning. Let's continue for the still tree and uh, this topic is all about the shear lag factor, no? Okay, so actually the shear lag factor, it's just uh, a factor that reduces the net area, no? Ibig sabihin, yung nakukuha nating net area, yung gross area na binabawas natin, yung hole, hindi pa iyon talaga yung pinaka nag-work, no? Parang sabihin na nating hindi siya na, hindi lahat yon nakakatulong para mag-resist nung tensile force, okay? So, there are cases na hindi lahat effective, okay? So, let's first discuss what is a section element, okay? So, I have here five sections. So, we have the plate, the angle bar, the T-section, uh, the rectangular hollow steel section, and then the wide flange section, okay? So, bawat isa sa kanila may iba't ibang, uh, may iba't -ibang dami ng elements, no? For example, this plate, okay? So, yung isang line element na to, so, that is considered one element, no? While this one, the angle, so you have one vertical and then you have here the two horizontal, okay? So, dito, I have here three. So, you have here one, okay, two, dalawa, and then you have here the three. So, that's why you have three elements, okay? Here, you have here four. One, two, three, and then four. So, for the W flange section, you have five. One, two. 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Okay? So you have there, that's how we count for the number of elements. And then later on, we will uh, we will categorize each element if this would be stiffened or unstiffened. Pero for now, hindi ko muna siya i-discuss. Okay? So kapag daw lahat ng elements are connected, it, it means, for example, itong uh, wide flange ko, no? So you have 5 elements. Kada elements niya merong connection. Let's say, nilagyan mo ng bolts. Okay? So, fully bolted sa lahat. No? Automatic lahat or automatic ni Yumo magiging 1.0. It means, kapag yung Yumo is 1.0, ang term is meron tayong uniform shear on that. No? So, let's say ito. Nilagyan ko ng bolts. Okay? So, you have here U equals to 1.0. Again, if all, all the elements are connected. Okay? So, now, if not all elements are connected, yung U natin nababawasan. Okay? So, what does it mean? For example, I have here the angle. So, this is the code actually. So, I have here the angle bar. Okay? So, again, kung lahat yan may bolt, ang U nyan 1.0. However, most of the time, yung connection natin for angle bars, sa isang side lang. Okay? So, meron ka ditong, let's say, gasset plate. Tapos, winel dyan o kaya binol dyan. Okay? Pero yung kabila, yung horizontal element mo, hindi connected. Okay? So, once the tension applies on this section, okay, pinul ko siya, ang pinaka na stress lang, itong element na to. Okay? So, yung isang element, parang haya-haya lang yung buhay niya. Na, so, parang hindi siya na-stress. Okay? Sana all. <laughs> so, itong vertical element, siya lang yung pinaka na stress Okay? What does it mean? Yun pala, kapag hindi lahat ng elements connected mo, okay, some of the elements are not stressed and some of the elements are overloaded. So, it means na hindi uniform yung natatanggap nilang mga stresses, okay? That's why yung shear lag factor natin should be less than 1, okay? So, there are researches about the shear lag factor na, na paano daw mawawala yung effect ng shear lag, okay? So, because of this formula, they have created the general formula 1 minus bar x over L, okay? Wherein the x is the distance of the connecting part to connection. Later on, they will discuss these two and length of the connection, okay? So, mathematically, kung gusto natin value ng u is 1, which is for the uniform shear, dapat itong second term natin ma-eliminate, okay? So, to eliminate that, so una, dapat malapit yung x, Okay, almost approaching to zero. So, sometimes it is not possible dahil meron tayong mga requirement ng mga minimum. Okay, so mga minimum distances. Okay, so one way to reduce the, the effect of the shear lag is lakihan natin yung L. In short, for example, ito yung connection ko, habaan ko yung length ng connection. Okay, tagtari mo ng connection, mahaba na. Okay, pag sobrang haba na daw yung connection niya, okay, with respect its distance and then this term would become equal to approaching to zero so that yung shear lag factor natin nagiging one okay or your shear lag effect natin is nawawala okay 
So there are different uh, common distances values for the x or the bar x, no? So uh, to, to clarify, the bar x it's not yung pinaka bar x na makikita niyo dun sa table, no? Or yung sa properties ng steel table, okay? Again, the bar x is technically the distance of connecting part to connection. Sample. For example, I have here the gasset plate, okay? Tapos uh, connected siya dito. Yung pinaka bar X natin is from the face of the gasset plate papunta dun sa centroid ng angle. This time, yung bar X nito is also equal to the bar X na nandun sa steel table. Okay? So, for this one, for example, I have the W sections, tapos meron tayong dalawang plate na, no? no, parang uh, pinapalaman na natin yung pinaka web nito. Okay? So, yung bar X niya is from the centroid of the W section, papunta dun sa face ng ating plate. Okay? So, that is the value of our bar X for this formula. Kapag naman cover-plated, okay, cover-plated tayo, so, yung pinaka-web uh, flange natin, merong um, plate, okay? So, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin, kung hot roll to, kakalahatiin natin yung section. Okay? So, pag kinat ko yung section, magiging WT section siya. Okay? And then from that WT section, hahanapin mo yung centroid niya mula doon sa pinaka face, top face ng ating flange. So that is the value of your bar X for this formula. Sa steel table, that is the bar Y ng ating WT section. Okay? So that's why I'm telling you na yung bar X, it's not the bar X on the steel table. But instead... Uh, logically, that is the distance from the connecting part to the connection. Okay? So, kapag naman meron kang dalawang channels, unlike dito sa plate, I want to uh, define the difference of the two, ito is from the center of the web. Okay? Well, this one, okay, if you have a plate, this is from the face of the plate, papunta dun sa center ng ating channel. Or simply, this is just the bar X, equal to bar X na nandun sa ating steel table. Okay? And then, for the length of the connection, madali lang naman, ano? Kaya lang, dalawa si yung most common type ng connections natin. We have the bolted and we have the welded. Kapag bolted, ang gan kukunin natin L, okay? Assuming na puro pa ganun, ha? Pa ganun yung forces mo. End-to-end um, -end distance. Center, okay? Center of the first bolt hanggang dun sa center ng second bolt, that is the L. Kapag meron kang staggered connection, ibig sabihin yung dalawang line of bolts mo is hindi equal, kukunin mo yung pinakamahaba. No? So, from the center of the first bolt hanggang dun sa center of the second bolt. Kaibahan siya kapag welded. So, kapag welded, equal yung kanilang length, okay, yun yung L mo. Pero, kapag unequal yung pinaka uh, weld natin, you have here the first length weld, L1, and L2, yung L na gagamitin natin for this formula should be the average of the two. Okay? Case 3. For the case 3, actually, um, this is not a common type of connection. So, um, in reality, parang hindi gaano ginagamit. Ano? Uh, uh, dahil, uh, paano ba? Mahina siya sa out of plane. No? So, parang uh, puro longitude na lang yung kaya niyang gawin. Okay? Pero, okay, let's have the provision for that. First, I want to discuss the difference between the transverse weld and then we have here the longitudinal weld, okay? For this kind of force, let's say ito yung P natin, yung weld perpendicular dito sa force, okay? So, yung perpendicular weld niya, yun yung tinatawag nating transverse. Kapag naman yung force mo or yung weld mo is parallel dun sa force like this one, ang tawag naman sa kanya is longitudinal weld, Okay? So, kapag daw dun sa case 3, uh, connected lang yung ating member ng, uh, long, uh, ng transverse weld, yung U mo is 1.0. But then, ang gagamitin mong area, it's only the area of the directly connected elements. For example, I have here the T-sections. I will use U 1.0, but I will use only the area wherein the connected elements are directly connected. Uh, the elements are directly connected. Na? Okay. Now, for the case 4, it is for the plates. Okay. Sir, bakit ganon? Akala ko ba na kapag plates at connected, dahil one element lang naman siya, and it is connected, okay, so ang gagamitin natin is about 1.0. Pero bakit meron tayong plates? Okay. 
So, ito yung difference niya, no? Okay, assuming, okay, it's because kapag hinila ko tong plate, let's say itong plate na to, no? Tapos, they are separated by this one, okay? Kapag imagine mo to, okay, tapos hihilahin ko siya, okay? Ngayon, hindi gaano uniform yung pinaka natatanggap niyang stress. It means for all the cross-sectional element is not equal, okay? So, that's why may, may kinalaman yung ating... Uh, distance or yung kanilang uh, eccentricity sa isa't isa. Okay? Gagamitin lang natin tong case 4 kapag connected yung ating plates only by the longitudinal welds alone. Okay? Pero kung meron yung uh, transverse weld automatic, it will be 1.0. Okay? So, again, here are the formulas. Okay? It, may kinalaman siya sa length at saka dito sa ating W. Okay? For the case 5 and case 6, okay, so I will leave it, okay, nando naman, okay, ipopost ko dito, okay, may kinalaman na siya sa diameter, okay, para sa hollow steel sections ng round and then the rectangle. I guess for case 5 and case 6, medyo mas mad madali na siyang sundan, direct formula lang yun, okay, as well as the case 7, actually case 7 and case 8, okay, pwede mo siyang gamitan ng case 2, no? Kaya lang, sometimes po kasi, itong case 7 and case 8, ginagamit natin siya. For example, wala kang properly uh, defined connection. Okay, for example, nag-design ka pa lang, hindi mo pa alam kung ilang yung bolts na kailangan mo. Okay, basta ang alam mo lang kung uh, ilan yung ilalagay mong bolts. Okay, so parang preliminary, pwede mong gamitin yung 7 and 8. Okay, in actual design sa industry, pwede mo siyang gamitin preliminary for case 7 and case 8. Okay, and then kapag na-design mo na yung bolt connection mo, tapos sa uh, medyo finalized na yung dami ng bolts, at saka ka pupunta sa case 2. Because case 2 is uh, actually more accurate than this one. Okay? So, however, for case 7 and case 8, may sinasabi si code. Kapag daw yung dalawang cases is applicable, let's say case 7 is applicable and case 2 is applicable, ang gagamitin natin yung we will use the larger value. Okay? So, I want to emphasize yung dun sa sinasabi sa code na with uh, connected with three or more fasteners per line, okay? So, for example, eto siya, connected yun sa flange, tapos pag ganun yung force natin, naka top view, eto yung top view ko, okay, eto yung flange, eto yung web, okay? So, kada isang line of bolt, eto yun, yun yung count, 1, 2, 3, hindi po, 6 na. Baka isipin nyo is 6 number of bolts, okay? Again, per line of loading. So, for example, this one is the line of loading. So, you have here 1, 2, and then 3, okay? So, that is, yun yung tinutukoy nating line, uh, uh, number of fasteners per line of loading. Same thing with 8. So, meron doon, uh, specified natin kung dami. Parang dami lang ng fasteners or bolts per line of loading. So, that's how you compute for the shear lag factor. And then, next, we will apply the computation of shear lag factor.